Night, night. <laughs> the sniper is done. Okay, I'm gonna rock over here with Emperor Nike. Yeah, I was actually going to. You can stay over there with him. Hold on, hold on. Got it, got it. Oh, this build is beautiful. We heading into the room. Chopper coming. I know it is. Little surprise for you. Burn. Little surprise for you. <laughs> You're not about to sneak me like that. Not happening. Trick. We didn't have what we have now. So I was actually able to make a build that has explosive resistance and explosive damage. So, as you see, <laughs> these guys are doing nothing to me. Pretty much nothing to me. So you can outlast whatever they have, whatever they throw at you. Alright fam, I think that's a good place to stop. I think I pretty much proved my point, so I guess I gotta show you the build, right? Now whenever you make a build that's for Legendary, it obviously can be used in any other content, so this is gonna breeze through Heroic like nothing. Now, before I never used Mad Bomber, and I was in the lab for a long time trying to figure out how to make this build. And there's another one that I want to make without the Ninja Bike bag that's going to be actually different, utilizing something else. I got I got some, some plans, but there's a way that you could spread yourself too thin, where you have too many things happening here and too many things happening there, where you're not really dealing that much significant damage in any particular area. I had that problem with this build at first, but not anymore. I was struggling with which weapon I wanted to use, and I think I finally found a home for everything that I have here. So, I'm using the Demolition and Specialization, and explosive builds I think are a lost art since, it's, since they've been nerfed so much. You used to be able to roll explosive damage on every piece, right? But now, it can only be found in two pieces. Rubo Sombra and China Light. And also the 10% or I think 15% that you get from Demolition and Specialization. I think it's 10% because you get 15 for each one of these here. And on the stats, it said I had 40% total. Okay, now the weapon I'm using is the Capacitor, of course, because it's a six tier skill build. Now I wanted to figure out a way to be able to deal damage with my explosives and deal damage with my weapon and be resistance to explosions. At first, I wanted to do what I did in my indestructible build a long time ago and have re bleed resistance as well and use the backfire to deal my damage, but I didn't really want to do that. I told you that I wasn't dealing enough damage. All I was was like a bot that would sit there and soak up explosive damage. And as a matter of fact, I have even more explosive resistance on this build than I had on that one. That one was 70. This one is like 90, I think, some, something crazy. I'll show you the stats at the end, but the capacitor, as you know, shooting enemy build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage, and then it decays over time when you're not shooting. And for each skill tier, I get 7.5% weapon damage. I mean, you can't beat that with a build like this, right? And I don't really necessarily use the secondary or the pistol. It's just, I mean, I just stay with the capacitor the whole time. These are just placeholders. And the great thing about the demolition and specialization is that you have the fragmentation grenade that bleeds enemies afterwards. And to complement that, I have the carpenter, this chess piece with the brand set Lingmo. And it has a talent on it called Perfectly Mad Bomber. I never really used Mad Bomber before. And there's a new exotic chess piece called the collector. I would love to use that, right? Look at this plus three grenade capacity, grenade radius, grenade damage. And and 25% extra damage to to any enemy caught in the blast. So you see what I was doing to those guys earlier, right? When they were bunched up, I kept tossing the grenades. 
it was like seven of those guys so it would have been like what almost 200 percent more grenade damage they would have been deleted immediately right but we're not using that in this build this is the chess piece i was talking about that i was going to be using for another build and the reason why is because i have the ninja bike but with with the carpenter i have 20 percent explosive resistance which is something that you need to build that up this was pretty much a godsend because i rolled another 10 percent explosive resistance so on this chest piece alone i have 30 percent and in my mods i went with protection from elites simply because i'm soaking up damage and that's mainly part of the build and whenever those elites hit me it doesn't do anything to me pretty much it pretty much does nothing to me right so mad bomber increases the grenade radius by 75 percent that that's crazy i think it's 50 percent on the regular version and then you know grenades that kill an enemy are refunded so all it is is you know all the explosive damage that i have is baked into a grenade because it's explosive damage right you could also cook the grenades if you want to so this is actually good damage on something that would otherwise not be if you weren't specced into it it's actually a viable solution for a build like this now in order to increase my explosive resistance even more i have this rnk mask and remember you want everything rolled to skill tier rnk already comes as a skill tier so that's great but it already comes for the two piece with explosive resistance incoming repairs is always good because incoming repairs is actually the secret sauce behind healer builds if you didn't know that anyways so i got another 20 percent right here and you can roll whatever you want on the attribute for your second one i decided to go with crit damage now this is all made possible with a ninja bike bag because I would not <laughs> I would not be able to have this explosive resistance if I didn't have this ninja bike bag because it you know re resourceful slots any equipped brand set and gives you another one right or I wouldn't be able to have explosive damage for the two piece on the Grupo Sombra the only thing I don't have on this on these gloves are explosive resistance now I do have some other gloves and they're the contractor's gloves, right? But the problem is, using these contractor's gloves that already have explosive resistance on it, it'll increase it more, but it's not gonna give me the explosive damage that I need for the two-piece Grupo Sombra. And I tried both versions, and the way that I'm going with this, I wanted it to be an explosive resistance and explosive damage build. And when I put the contractor's gloves in there, it just doesn't really do that for me. But at the same time, I'm dealing enough damage with the capacitor. Now for my knee pads, kind of light. You can never go wrong with a little bit of skill haste. I got that by default with the ninja bike and the one piece for explosive damage. Rolled with explosive resistance. So this build is pretty much cut and dry. It's just, it took a lot of, you know, mixing and matching while I was in the lab to figure out exactly how I want this, wanted this to be. My final piece is the Carl's holster. And this is what is allowing me to get to six skill tiers without using technician specialization. For me, I'm pretty much in love with that set, man, that uh, specialization. So to pull away from that was a little bit difficult, but I was able to compensate. The two-piece Brazos gives me one skill tier and some more skill haste. So I get my skills back pretty fast. And let me show you which ones I have. The explosive sticky bomb. This is something that I stay I stay with all the sticky bombs if you know me if you see my builds I'm always rocking with some type of sticky bomb one way or the other it's just a great skill overall and you know when this came out when these when these sticky bombs came out it was just it just made me feel really good because they came from division one they had these in div one they weren't in division two from the beginning they came later on with warlords of new york and when they came out i was like yeah this is <laughs> this is hype now the great thing about demolition and specialization is that you can use the artillery turret you can't use it if you don't have demolition and specialization i'm using shrapnel trap i could toss this down in areas where i think the enemy is going to go and you know just chill until it's used up and it resets i don't know this thing was and people were saying that this was nerfed severely but man, if you saw the damage that I was dealing to those mini tanks, to those enemies, it just deleted them immediately. It also applies bleed to the affected target after it's done. Cooldown is pretty high, but the cooldown on every trap is high, I mean, I'd say. 
but yeah yeah this thing is great it allows you to deal your weapon damage and do your thing while you're on the battlefield you know you don't have to really worry about anything it's just like ebb and flow it just flows so let me show you the stats explosive resistance I have is 80 <laughs> percent that is insane man so I pretty much take zero damage along with the 36 percent protection from elites that I have and I don't have any has pro on here pretty much because remember like I said I had has pro and explosive resistance on everything which was why I wasn't able to do anything with my weapon then this one is different in legendary missions all you worry about pretty much is the explosive damage that these grenaders and you know the drone operators deal and you pretty much take that out of the equation I ran this solo but with a team you can be kind of like the front runner and soak up all the damage and you know aggro that's pretty much it for this build I mean check it out I would love to have explosive resistance on here if I had explosive, if I had that on here it'll be 90% that that's crazy I don't think I would take any damage from there and before I had instead of the ninja bike because you can't wear two exotics before I had Sawyer's exotic knee pads and this stacks your weapon damage as long as you're not moving and you, you can't be staggered when you get hit with a grenade. So those are good too, but I don't think it's better than the ninja bike bag in this type of build. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I really love builds like this when I have to really get in the lab and think about how to put it together and to make sure that it's strong when I start playing with it. You know, if it doesn't work in Legendary and, you know, I feel that it's weak, I'm not going to post it. So like the video if you like the build. Also subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'll catch you in the next one, fam. Be right out.